Hey y'all, today is October 3rd. It's a Thursday, it's day seven, um, since our power went off. Currently at the library as there's Wi-Fi here. Um, just reporting in. Uh, heard of up to 175 dead across the region in Western North Carolina and South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. Uh, still over a thousand people missing. Um, beyond that, I still know of most people that I've been in contact with still don't have power, still don't have water. Uh, the city of Asheville has said that water won't be back for months. This includes um, schools, the Mission Hospital, which is run by HCA. Um, they've been trucking in water for the hospital itself. Um, yeah, currently there's been mutual aid resources that have been around. FEMA has been trying to get in contact with local organizations to try and make as much as possible happen for uh, community resources, food, water, gas, propane. Um, luckily, my neighborhood is out in the boonies. Um, we have access to well water. Uh, one of my neighbors has access to solar, so we've been able and others have propane generators, so we've been ha able to have access to water. Um, beyond that, food. Uh, many people don't have access to food. We've been trying to make sure that those that don't do. Um, houses have been destroyed. I have a good friend, my best friend, who lives out in Chimney Rock. Her house was completely destroyed. The, the flooding rose up all the way up into the rafters. Uh, they were rescued via firefighters. They're currently staying at a hotel. Others who weren't nearly as damaged but still don't have access to a shower, uh, barely able to get out to hot food, um, but we're still coming together. We're still here as a community. Um, uh, the local radio station, BPR, has great resources available for those that need it. Um, we've been trying to get access to FEMA funds um, and again these these problems that we've been facing no one that I've heard talk about them on official radio stations not from the governor to the president who I believe is visiting today um, we'll talk about uh, these climate change fueled storms and the fuel of climate change is capitalism and its ever-expanding need for profit um, these band-aid solutions while needed people need food people need money while their jobs have literally been washed away um, they are not expansive that every person will not receive them um, and you know working class people are just trying to get by and these band-aid solutions do not look at the root of these issues these storms these 500 these 100 year storms as people have been calling them are going to become more and more commonplace um, so we need people and the planet before profits uh, that's all i have from Asheville, western north carolina so yeah stay safe out there uh in solidarity